Hi, in today's video we're going to take a look at an IMA 4406. This unit was sent in by Robert from Pennsylvania and it has what I'm going to call common failure mode number one. It has a typical problem that most 4406's that are sent in to us for repair have, but it's presenting itself in a slightly different way than it is, and it may be because this unit was sent in as soon as the problem began and Robert was somewhat more observant. Before I turn it on, because there's a time element to this problem, let me explain to you what the common failure mode is. The common failure mode on 4406 master stations have to do with a voltage regulator that's in the power module in this part of the set. As the voltage regulator fails, it becomes hot. Because it's hot, it begins to fail more, which makes it gets hotter, which it's, you have one of these circular chicken and egg problems with a failing component. By the time we get most of these units in, the typical symptoms are either it's permanently locked into an IU mode and there's no audio of any kind, or you'll get a, a version of the failure in where the display works correctly, it shows the correct time, you can choose AM or FM, and it will scan through radio stations and stop at strong stations, but while it's doing all of that, there's no audio whatsoever. The unit is completely silent. In this case, it may be that Robert was more observant and started to notice a problem right away and contacted us, or it may be that his set is just failing in a slightly different way than is typical. Let's do a little checking before we turn it on to see if we can characterize what's really going on with his unit. So what I have here is a little infrared temperature sensing device and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the temperature of the component, the voltage regulator, before we turn the set on. This has been sitting on the bench now for about 20 minutes so it's at, it's at ambient or room temperature. So let's go ahead and measure it. and it shows it's about 27 degrees Celsius and if we measure the outside of the plastic case that shows 29 degrees so it's about the same now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the set on and while this problem may take a few minutes to actually start happening I'm just going to let the video go and then I'll edit out the blank time and get to the interesting part as soon as it happens. So now I'm going to turn it on. And you heard that loud pop when it came on. That's not normal. And I'm just going to set the clock to the default one at clock time and now I'm going to let the video run. Uh, I forgot. What I should do is turn the radio on also. Be sure to listen to what's going on because it's important. What you're hearing here is a loud rhythmic pop coming out of the speakers. The radio sound stopped altogether and just following the pop you'll hear a click also. And of course now it stopped because I said that. The pop is either a power supply or an amplifier pop and the click that follows the pop, which of course it's not doing right now, I believe it, 
Oh, there it goes again. So it's cycling. Radio faded back in for a second and then went out. It went pop and click. Let's see if it does it again. Okay, it may not want to, so let's measure the temperature of our voltage regulator. And it's already over the limit of my thermometer, so I can't tell you exactly how hot it is, but I can tell you if I put my finger on it, I can hold my finger on it for less than one second. That's how hot it is. So now let's try a little experiment. Here we have a can of normal compressed air that we use at the shop to clean boards and things. And one of the things about cans of compressed air is if you turn it upside down and spray it, it sprays out the propellant, which is the same as free spray, which is used in electronics troubleshooting to cool components down when they get too hot. So let's see if we cool the voltage regulator down if the audio for the radio comes back on. And what do you know it did? So the temperature... So let's measure the temperature of the voltage regulator after the arctic blast of free spray. And right now it's showing 7.6 degrees Celsius. I don't know if you can see that on there or not. And it's already getting hot enough that I can barely touch it, so I'm going to suspect that as it reheats back up, the audio is going to go away again. So the temperature of the voltage regulator is now at 71.6 degrees Celsius and rising. And the radio sound, the audio has faded away, and we're back to the popping and clicking again. So let's repeat it, because that's what you do at the shop. You repeat things to prove that you're on the right track. So let's free spray it one more time. And it seems as if this time the audio isn't going to come back on. Oh, there it is. It was still locked into intercom mode, which is the clicking following the popping. So I think we found the culprit. And let me turn this off. And thanks to Robert being very observant, we have a real-time, real-life example of the failure mode, we'll call it common failure mode number one, of a failing voltage regulator on an IMA4406. Now I'm going to repair this unit and we'll check it again once we're done. Alright, let's turn sticks off. What you were listening to was Robert's repaired IMA 4406 master station. What you're looking at here in the tray are the parts and components that were replaced to solve the problem that Robert Set had. This is the voltage regulator that we sp sprayed the freeze spray on which caused the audio to come back in until it overheated again and then the audio went away. The set's been on now for about a half an hour Let's go ahead and turn the radio back on. 
plays fine. I've tested the intercom. I've tested the chime module. It all works correctly. Let's do a quick measurement of our voltage regulator to see where its temperature is. Let's go ahead and um, tilt up here slightly. Let's go ahead and measure it and see where we're at right now. And it shows a very reasonable 46 degrees Celsius. And if we compare that to the faceplate, the faceplate is about 33 degrees Celsius. You would expect the plastic to be cooler. Voltage regulators generate some amount of heat but it's certainly very cool to the touch and with the heat sink bracket modification that we install in these type of repairs this problem should not repeat so i hope you enjoyed this video if you found it to be helpful please like it on our youtube channel give it a thumbs up if you think this video would be helpful to other people please subscribe to our youtube channel subscribing to our youtube channel raises our search rankings on YouTube, which simply means it'll make it easier for other people to find our video. If you have ideas or suggestions about videos in regards to Newtone intercom systems, please leave it in the comments. We do read the comments and I will reply to them. And if your suggestion for a video would be helpful to other people and addresses a specific issue or question, I'll make a video for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.